Hello, this is Edwin. I'm going to be teaching you how to use Canva to make mock-up printables. So we're at canva.com and so you're going to go there and make an account. The account is for free and you are more than welcome to use this for your graphic needs. But for today, we're going to use this for making printable mock-ups. So we're going to go here to the dashboard and we're going to click on custom dimensions. Now for these dimensions, I'm going to choose 2500 by 2000. So 2500, 2000, and I'm going to click create new design. All right, so I'm at the page where it's going to show up for your new design, and we're going to create this printable mockup right here. This is the printable mockup that I created as an example to show you what we're going to create today. These are 10 trivia questions and answers, and you can see there's a title, there's a wooden background. I put this little shape right here, and the two mock-up. Here we're going to be on the page two just to try to mimic that one and so I'm just going to go to the background. So I'm going to go to background. I'm going to try to find something wooden. I'm going to type in wood. So I chose this wooden background here. I typed in wood and I clicked on uh, the wooden background and now I'm going to see what uh, shape I can use. I'm going to use this shape right here. I'm going to go to elements. I'm going to click on this square run right here and I'm going to choose black for this demonstration. I'm going to turn it with this little circle thing right here. And I'm going to expand this. Okay, so this is the mock-up that I did and I just put the square right here and then now I'm going to get my products. Okay, so now I'm going to go to the upload page right here or the upload section and I'm going to just upload my two products here. Okay, so I positioned them. Now I'm going to go to the left side again. I'm going to go to text. I'm going to click on add a heading and I'm going to put in my title. Okay, so once I got the title, I'm going to go and choose the size of it. Okay, so I've chosen the size. Now I'm going to choose color here and I'm going to choose white and I'm going to choose a font. I'm going to make it bold, maybe a little bit bigger. Actually, it needs to be a little bit a lot bigger. And now I'm going to I'm going to make it a drop shadow. So I'm going to click on effects and I'm going to go to shadow. I'm going to click color here. I'm going to make it black. See now it has that shadow drop shadow effect. Okay, so this is pretty good to me so far. And one of the things that we can do now to make this um, mock-up stand out is actually make these papers with the drop shadow. So I know with the text, they have an effects button where you can do the drop shadow, but unfortunately with pictures, I don't see a drop shadow effect here. So what I'm gonna do is actually go to elements here and I'm gonna go to the square. I'm gonna turn it and I'm gonna make it black. I'm trying to perfectly match this up. All right, so I made the square and I try to match it up. And now what I'm gonna do is go to color and I'm gonna click on gray here to see if that works better. And lower the transparency. I'm gonna go to 20. I'm gonna position this to the back. Okay, so I copied and pasted and I made another one. I'm gonna position this to the back. What I did was I tried to adjust the drop shadow as much as possible to this paper right here. As you can see, it kind of made a drop shadow effect right there. And on the back one, I did one as well, but you can hardly see it, so I don't think it really mattered. And so now I'm just gonna do a few touch-ups and just to make it a little bit better. So I made a few little bit of touch-ups for this mock-up feature, but and this is pretty much it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to the right top corner, I'm gonna click on this arrow right here, and I'm gonna click on download. Once I click on download, you can do PNG or you can do JPEG. For this one, I'm just going to do PNG and I'm going to click download.